Hi, it's Ms. Todorik from The Cool Classroom. I wanted to give you an update on our Gumball Machine spreadsheet. So I'm gonna to try to post a video, I would say like in the middle of every month. So it is October 20th. I'll do this again on November 20th and we'll go so on and so forth. All right, so this these are our weekly sales. This week, we did great. It was close to like $36. It was all Skittles. So we did invest in four someone's knocking on my door, but I believe it was, um, we got a hundred dollars in Skittles. So we got a bunch of like four small bags, four or five bags. I know we added before two bags originally. I have, yeah, I think it's four bags, four bags for a hundred dollars. And then I added a hundred dollars to the spreadsheet. And then we added this week's earnings, which is 36. And then the running profit, right now we're still negative, right? Um, so we're not gonna pay, we're not gonna buy any more Skittles. I mean, any more supplies. We have very little gumballs. Uh, we didn't change the gumball settings. It gives two gumballs for one quarter. So pretty sure we kind of wasted money on that. And then, and I really don't know how to change, nor do I wanna go read the um, instructions and kind of figure out how to change the setting on that gumball. It just looks complicated. Uh, one of the other settings right now we have runs. Uh, we're very, very low on that. Uh, that's kind of like a medium to large setting. Um, I can change it. I didn't change it. Uh, the Skittles I did. So the students were a little bit like, what's going on? These Skittles, it's like a small handful, but according to sales, they love Skittles and um, it's a decent amount they get it for a quarter. And then I think next week, once we run out of the, the runs, I just might fill the rest of the, the second um, container all with Skittles as well. So we're going to focus on Skittles. We're not going to purchase any more candy, no more gumballs. We'll just run out of that. And then we'll just have a Skittle machine um, and see how that goes. And then until we start seeing some profit, which let's just plug in some numbers. Let's say if we go 36 and we're consistent with 36 a week. So by January, the machine should be paid off. And then by March, we're looking at a profit considering we make $36 a week of 298. So this can change. Obviously we don't know what the future sales will be like. Um, and we'll keep you updated. So like I said, this was a good week. We'll see what happens next week. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.